Well, here today on the Rusty Glove Box, what we're going to do is we're going to do a little gardening. And uh, first, I am going to harvest my potatoes. And uh, the plants are starting to kind of lay over and look a little yellow. And uh, so that's kind of an indicator that they're, they're ready to harvest. Uh, really happy with how everything's growing. Beans are doing good. Tomatoes are just growing. They're about a foot above their cage right now. And it has some side shoots that uh, I need to kind of tie to the cage. Carrots are doing pretty good. Uh, it's got big tops on them, but not much down below. I'm not sure if it's the soil or water or what it is, but they may just not be mature enough. Onions are doing well. Peppers are blooming, and uh, actually I think these are jalapenos, and so I'll probably have some jalapenos before long. And these are the little bell peppers. I actually have a bell pepper on it. The beans are doing great, starting to produce some beans. Uh, it seems like I found about maybe a half dozen beans on there. These are supposed to grow close to a foot long, so I'm going to let them go a little longer. And uh, But got tons of blooms on this thing. And this trellis could have been a lot bigger, filled from top to bottom with uh, vines. And uh, it's got blooms, and so it looks like it's going to be a good producer. This one over here in the potato bed, it's doing good. But the purpose of the video today is we're going to harvest our potatoes. I planted them mid-February and it's uh, almost mid-May, so they've about done their business and i uh, gonna dig them up and see how well they produced. Well, this looks like a nice one to start. So first pull my plant up. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pull the rest of these and I'm going to get them in the wagon and uh, we'll get a count and see what we got. Well, we've got all the potatoes pulled and now they're in the wagon and uh, completely fills up the bed of the little wagon. And so that's a decent little harvest. That'll, that'll last me a while. And uh, well, we've got the garden bed all prepped for our next crop we're going to put down. And it's going to be something completely different from, from uh, potatoes. And so that's, here's the three different uh, okras that I'm going to plant. And this one is really neat to me. It's kind of a, a red or burgundy colored pod. And uh, it says harvest it when it's about five to six inches. And our next one is the crimson spineless and it says harvest them when they are little uh, short seed pods and they're very tender and good eating and the last one is the emerald and the emerald it's a uh, very good it's good all around okra uh, it's also good for pickling and gumbos and things like that their planting requirements are all the same. Plant them about three quarters of an inch deep. And uh, they recommend soaking the seeds overnight. And so we followed those directions and instructions. And uh, so let's get ready to plant. Well, here's how I'm gonna lay it out. I'm gonna have my red burgundy okra on the left-hand side. I'm gonna have the Clemson spineless on the inner and then I'm going to have my emerald on the outside. And uh, these are decent uh, length little rows. And so I'm going to overseed at the moment. And then uh, what excess comes up, I can kind of pluck those out. 
so I'll get those in the ground. Uh, I dug a little furrow about three quarters of an inch deep and I'll be able just to cover it up real easy. So anyway, I appreciate y'all coming by the shop today. This is Rusty Glove Box, and I'm out of here.